We'll be comparing numbers today. And what we're gonna do to start comparing numbers is we're gonna talk about the symbols that we're gonna use to compare these numbers. So we wanna use our symbol greater than, less than, and equal to. When I compare numbers, I can start with easy numbers and I can start with one digit numbers and I can set nine, it's greater than three. Remember that we read from left to right and I read this first number nine greater than three. We can think about that alligator mouth eating the biggest number because very hungry. So he wants the biggest number nine greater than three. I can use two digit numbers and I can say 16 less than 24. Again, I read from left to right, and I'm gonna say 16, my first number, less than 24, or just use the same number to say 44 equals to 44. So those are the three ways I can use my symbols, greater than, less than, equal to. Okay, but this is one digit number and two digit numbers, which is not that hard. And I can see that also in the hundreds chart. As I go with the chart, I can see which numbers are first. Those are gonna be my smallest number and then my greatest numbers, the ones that follow. Now let's do bigger numbers. What if I have 272 or 73, let's change that. And then I'm gonna try to find out if this number is greater than or less than um, 316. To compare my numbers, I can start on this part when I compare numbers from the hundreds place. My hundreds, tens, and ones. Hundreds, tens, and ones. And I'm gonna start with the hundreds. I'm gonna see which one is greater. So I know that three is more than two. I don't need to go to the other numbers, to the tens and the ones, because I already know that three is more than two. So this number is gonna be 273 is less than 316. So that's the way I read my number. What happens when I have those numbers the same? Like if I have 485, I need to know, and then I'm gonna have 482. Again, I'm gonna have my hundreds, tens, and ones, hundreds, tens, and ones. And I'm gonna start, as I said, with my hundreds place, and I'm gonna see four and four. So far, those are equal, so I still don't know. I'm gonna to go to my next number, and I'm gonna say A and A. Oh, I still don't know, those numbers are the same. Then I'm gonna to have to go to the ones place, and I see five and two. Oh, I know five is greater than two. So this way, I'm gonna say, my symbol goes here, remember my alligator mile, 485 greater than 482. Now it's your turn, and I have this assignment on Flipgrid again. Let me write it here. Okay, so I have my Flipgrid, and the code for second grade mathematicians is, you can find that on this more, and you can put your lunch number to be able to submit an assignment. There's a question, and I already posted a video there on Flipgrid with an example on how to do it, and you need to explain how you use greater than, less than, and equal. Thank you.